Hi, welcome to this new part of this playlist. We are looking at real certification questions. In this part, we will cover questions linked with these three topics. Please hit the subscribe and the like button. It keeps me motivated to put on some more content, which is very helpful for clearing the certifications. Please focus on the concepts. For previous questions, please refer parts 1 to 22 of this playlist. You have ECS on two private subnets and there is a NAT instance that is being used to connect with the internet. This is the internet, okay? And you have to access the files from S3. The question is talking about this portion, this piece here. When you access this piece here, the business doesn't want to spend a lot of money. They want to curb the expenses. What will you do to save money? You have four options. NAT gateway will increase the cost, not save the cost. This is wrong because you plan to put NAT gateway here. So whenever it talks about you have to save the cost and the question is talking about these stuff, gateways, then thumb rule, thumb rule, thumb rule, gateway endpoint cheap. Is it cheap? No. Is it free? Yes. If you see this, there is no additional charge for using gateway endpoints. Very good to connect to S3 and DynamoDB without requiring internet gateways or NAT devices. NAT devices and internet gateways are not free. Hence, B is my answer. C says to use interface endpoints, which is not the cheapest solution here. And D says to use CloudFront. So using CloudFront here, this problem cannot be solved. So CloudFront is a wrong, wrong, wrong option. This is my final answer. Let's look at the next one. You have an application and you are putting SQS into play. So there are two types of users, paid users and free users. You want to give more priority to the paid users. So S3 is used to store the photos, SQS is used to store the job information. Now, what should as you as a solution architect propose? The first one says use SQS, FIFO, Q, and then you assign a higher priority. So if you're using FIFO, it's always first in, first out, first in, first out, first in, first out. You cannot set priorities there. Whatever comes first goes out first. So this option is wrong because you cannot set a higher priority. B says you use two SQS FIFO queues, one for paid, one for free, that is fine. Set the free queue to short polling and paid queue to long polling. See, what? why do we use polling in terms of SQS? The main reason is so that if you do short polling and if the data is not there, you will always it will always return blank. And in order to stop that and save your cost, you, instead of polling after every five seconds, you say, okay, I'll poll after 30 seconds or I'll wait for a minute and then poll. That's called long polling. Short polling is you keep polling every one second or three seconds. That is short polling. Okay, polling will not help you prioritize the paid users. Okay, so B is wrong. C says use two SQS standard queues. That is fine. One for paid, one for free. Configure EC2 to, to prioritize polling. That is great because what will happen is you will have something like that. You will plug for the paid stuff. You will plug EC2 here and it will process it. So this looks correct to me and D says you have one SQS queue and set the visibility timeout. See, you use visibility timeout if you are in a risk to process the same record multiple times. Duplication, you want to avoid duplication. Does the problem say, does the use case, is there a use case which says that duplication is an issue? No. Visibility timeout only use if duplication is an issue. You can pause this video here and read this carefully. It is all about preventing duplication. So this is my final answer. Let's look at the next question. See, it is a very simple question. You, some people are trying to access reports and there is a performance issue. It is as simple as this. So there is a BI app and there is a database and there is a performance issue. What will you do to solve it? it this one says increase the size of RDS instance. That means increase the size of RDS instance. And if you have better, bigger RDS instance, more compute, then this bottleneck will not happen. No guarantee. This can still happen because what is happening is, see, it is making, uh, there are other portions which is writing. This is the write request and this is the read request, okay? 
if you keep doing read and write both it will be a problem whenever you get such use case always split 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 the read and write is there an option which does that yes it says create a read replica and connect the business report to it okay see there is one more similar option you are creating a read replica in option b and connecting the application to it see read replica if you create and connecting the application means application will do write operations you don't want write operations to go in the read replica you want read operations so this will just put the read operations in the read replica this is what is required so d is my answer now you might ask what about c enable multi ac zones on rds instance multi ac always remember thumb rule i will repeat it three times multi ac use for disaster solution use for disaster solution use for disaster solution so that you do not lose data do not lose data do not lose data is there a disaster like solution uh, question here is there a use case for it no this is a use case for performance management of reporting applications and reporting applications will only read it does not write so this is the final answer in the previous parts you might have seen a question which is similar but not the same in the exam they keep asking similar questions here and there please hit the subscribe button and the like button it keeps me motivated to put on some more contents which are very informative this brings us to the end of part 23 we covered questions which are linked with these three topics do not forget to refer the previous parts that is part 1 to 22 of this video series also refer an old playlist which is already there on this channel those questions are still relevant practice makes a person perfect please utilize that see you in the next part ciao